The Prusik hitch is the first of three simple friction hitches we are going to show you today. We are tying it with an eye to eye Prusik cord, but it can also be tied with a Prusik loop. With an eye to eye, you need to make sure that the eyes of the cord stay aligned, else there will be an uneven loading on the Prusik hitch. We start by taking a bite of rope and fold it around the climbing line. Then the end of the Prusik cord goes through this bite. The Prusik hitch is a friction hitch that can be loaded in both directions. This can be handy when you want to hang a tarp and adjust the tension. But it can also be used as a backup knot when rappelling. When climbing up the rope there is the disadvantage of the Prusik hitch being bidirectional. This makes it harder for you to advance the hitch up the line as you climb. To form the Prusik hitch we keep forming wraps around the climbing line, working from the outside in. Each new wrap is made on the inside. The most common Prusik hitch is the three wrap Prusik. Three wraps around the climbing line will give you six coils in total. Make sure the coils stay in an orderly fashion. Sometimes they tend to get messed up a bit. This can easily be inspected and sorted when the Prusik hitch is being dressed. The Prusik hitch is considered the most easy friction hitch, but it comes with its own limitations. Next we show you an alternative for the Prusik hitch that is also very easy to tie. This one carries the strange name Schwabbish hitch. The Schwabbish hitch is a variation on the Prusik hitch, but it's not symmetric like the Prusik. That's why the Swabish hitch is sometimes called the asymmetric Prusik hitch. The Swabish hitch is tied with an eye to eye Prusik cord. It is a good base friction hitch to learn, because you can change it later to more advanced friction hitches. We start tying the Swabish hitch by forming four wraps around the climbing line. A basic Swabish hitch is tied with four coils around the climbing line and one final coil at the bottom. But if you need more friction or less friction, you can either add or remove a coil. When the hitch doesn't grab well, then you can try to add an extra coil or the combination of the Prusik cord and the climbing line doesn't work well together. In that case, the Prusik cord is usually too thick or too stiff. Now that we have formed four wraps around the climbing line, we have arrived at the more difficult part of the Swabbish hitch. We take the top end and lay it over the bottom strand. Then we take this top end or working end and then go around the climbing line from behind. To finalize the Swabbish hitch, take the working end, then put it through the loop. If you do this the other way around, then you have actually tied a distal hitch instead of the Swabbish hitch which is also very safe to climb on. As you can see, the result is similar to the Prusik hitch, but it's not symmetric, but almost as easy to tie as the Prusik hitch. Now the final friction hitch of the three easy friction hitches, the Klemheist. The Klemheist, also known as the McCart hitch, is a simple and reliable friction hitch that can be tied with either an eye to eye Prusik cord or with a Prusik loop. The Klemheist also exists of a series of coils around the climbing line. We start with a bite on top, then work our way down. Because I use an eye to eye Prusik cord, I prefer to start from the top so I can get rid of any weird twists in the Prusik cord. If you work with a Prusik loop, you can also start at the bottom and work your way up. We form three wraps around the climbing line, so we end up with six coils in total. The Klemheist is a friction hitch that releases more easily compared to the Swabish and the Prusik hitch. It is often used when climbing rope with the secured footlock technique, because it is easy to advance the knot and you don't want to waste energy on fighting your friction hitch on the way up, especially not during a climbing competition. Now that we have formed the coils, we can finalize the clam heist by taking the working end and putting it through the bite on top. 
This bite shouldn't be too small, so make sure it's roughly long enough to cover the length of the stacked coils. To finalize the clam heist, thresh the hitch, then tighten it. Always verify your friction hitches before you fully commit to them.